what's up you checking out the frequent flyer and I just wanted to show you guys a little line of sight demo of this little guy here because this thing is crazy how fast it punches out and all with just these two little batteries there's only a small difference and maybe uh, six grams or something like that between this and the 2s 350 milliamp hour battery being in here you know the overall weight the takeoff weight it's only a difference about six grams so I'm definitely going to do the mod to change this to XT30 but I just wanted to show you guys a quick punch out and all of this guy in this format here this configuration is uh it's I guess it works they do provide you with two little plugs to insert inside the pH 2.0 power lead there so you get two of those in case you want to fly with one s i do have a one s battery that i added an xt32 when i was testing out my tiny hawk <laughs> and that's actually how i killed my tiny hawk because i had an xt30 on it and it allowed me to plug in a 2s battery but anyhow let's get this guy up in the air show you guys some punch outs and a little bit of the speed a little line of sight of it also, I do have mismatched batteries in here, but they're both 300 milliamp hours, and they both um, high voltage batteries. I um, flew uh, with the battery, the stock batteries, and I don't know what the heck I did with the other battery. It fell on the floor. It'll turn up. But anyhow. Welcome to OpenTX. No buzzer, so we're using D shock commands on it. Okay, let's start with a quick punch out. Amazing. Jeez, the punch out on this thing. It's better than some of the two inch models. I am flying it in acro mode. I'm not going top speed because this thing can get out of control on top speed. I really don't want to wreck it. I did actually have a really hard crash with this guy really hard crash I had with it and no damage so I was surprised at that so let's try to fly it fast in some angle mode this is angle mode now little demonstration of how fast this little guy is <laughs> I can't even put the throttle I can't even put the throttle all the way to the max pretty decent flight time with it too starting to drop off now. I can feel it. Let's see if it'll do a power loop. At this weakened state of the battery, it still does power loops. It's very light machine. Yo, what's up, bro? Really light machine here. Another power loop. <laughs> okay, no buzzer. I don't know where this guy is at. 
as far as battery voltage. So let's bring it down. So that's it, a quick line of sight demo of this brand new Beta 75 Pro 2S version two. It has these really light motors on here. These are 802, 12,000 kV motors. I made a mistake and said 1,200 kV. They're actually 12,000 kV motors on this and they're only 802, so a little shorter in the stator and whatnot same width and a lower kv slightly but that makes this thing really light though it don't really suffer from the kv being lower and these motors are really notchy to be tiny motors like this they're really notchy feeling and one other thing they had a, another camera mount in here the other camera mount uh it was pitched um less because the one that came in here, I think it was, I'm, I'm not sure uh, how many degrees it was pitched up, but it was very severe. I couldn't really fly it indoors slowly. And so I swapped it out for this one here so I can do some maneuvering and whooping indoors. And it worked out really well. It probably would be better if you had an adjustable cam in here, but uh, I guess they had some type of solution at least. <laughs> Thanks for watching.